And why do we have this uh, situation where Malcolm Turnbull, as the Prime Minister of this country, who said that no child, no one wants to see children in detention, why do we have a situation where even Malcolm Turnbull is now turning a blind eye to the deportation of children back to Nauru, that children remain, a four-week-old baby girl remains in detention. The reason, Mr Deputy President, is that those that support the detention of baby Asher, the detention of little Mia and the 37 other babies born here in Australia, given Australian birth certificates but given no rights or compassion. The reason for their detention, those who support it, is that we must do this in order to stop the boats. How absurd for a government to argue that in order to stop the boats, we need to keep children locked in detention, in harm, in an abusive environment. I don't believe at all, Mr Deputy President, that that is the only, only option available to saving lives at sea. And if Malcolm Turnbull or if anybody else in this government um, thinks that the Australian public and doctors are going to continue to buy that we must harm these children as, and that their harm is simply collateral damage for a broader government policy, they are really misreading not just the complexities of this policy, not just the complexities of this issue, but they are misreading the desire for compassion and care in the Australian people. It is not the only option. It is not the only way you protect people. And it is morally bankrupt to argue that a child deserves to be abused in order to protect other children. It is illogical, it is morally bankrupt, and the Australian public are waking up. They are absolutely waking up to this farce of an argument. We do have the ability. This bill refers only to those babies born here in Australia. We have the ability to protect these children. And if the argument is that giving four-week-old baby Mia the opportunity to live a childhood free of detention, free of harm, free of abuse, will open the floodgates to boats. If that is seriously the argument that this government wants to mount, it just proves how insincere, how blinded and how irresponsible um, this government really is. There is no, no one can seriously argue that giving baby Mia the opportunity of a childhood free of harm and free of abuse who is already here in Australia, born in an Australian hospital, delivered by Australian doctors, that this child should be classified as an arrival by sea. It's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. And there is a larger debate, of course, about what we do to ensure that Nauru and Manus Island, um, that the people who are detained there are looked after, that they're given the opportunity to have their claims assessed, assessed effectively, efficiently, with fairness, 
and if they're found to be refugees, given the opportunity of a future. That is a broader discussion and a broader debate, one that we must have in this place, but that is not what this bill does today. This bill simply says that if a child who is born in Australia, in an Australian hospital, is considered to be just like every other child delivered in the normal way and has the opportunity to have their claim assessed here in Australia. Um, people may argue, and the government will, we'll hear Senator Macdonald stand up shortly and, and, and say that if we give baby Asha or, or baby Mia the opportunity of a childhood, that that will send a signal to people smugglers. That is what the government will say. If you, as a government, cannot find a better way of managing people smugglers than abusing children, get out of the way and let some other people get on with doing it properly. It is absolutely unconscionable that we abuse children in order to allow this government to stand in front of a sign that says they stopped the boats.